Andy and I were able to essentially take our client, you know, we had a small client base and, and, uh, and, and we started Gerber Taylor. And um, with a very small client base and five employees, five people. Or I think five people, right. and, and, and we just kind of grew incrementally from there, just sort of one client at a time. We were part of a early wave of, of sort of independent money management and the idea of alternative investments being brought into the mix, uh, into, into portfolio mixes, and, and we were just very fortunate that we sort of came in on the very front end of that. Charles is the brains of the operation, and uh, and I and you know I'm the operations kind of guy. I mean, Charles had the vision, and, and we talked about it a lot. And then uh, it was sort of on my part of the plate was to make sure that we had the the operational setup, the, the sort of the general and administrative things. And so Charles has always been much more on the uh, strategy side, from the standpoint of, of uh, working with. Uh, work with the various um, equity, fixed income, alternative, real estate, all those different strategies together. And, uh, and then both those had responsibility for clients, obviously. We had to not only go get the clients, but we also had to service the clients. And then we had to, uh, we had to develop a, a great team of people that we could bring along. What we, I think we most had in common was sort of a, a philosophy. Uh, you know, sort of our, our philosophies kind of matched up, and it, it wasn't—it wasn't sort of a transaction-based philosophy like you would think about in, in business. And in fact, when we started in the business, the the issue was to work for on a transaction basis. And Charles said right away, "This is not a great idea. We should be working for a fully disclosed fee, so that everybody knows it doesn't matter." you know, how we set the allocation up and the work we do is all about making money for the clients and not about the turnover or anything in the account. And he was absolutely right. And so we built a business on that on that basis and that was part of Charles's philosophy.